Hi, welcome to Pasanyosi channel. Are you a vehicle owner? If you are a vehicle owner, this video is going to be very useful to you because I am going to review a product that is a must have in your car. So come and see what I am going to show you today. This is a dash camera. This is the latest released from Vantru. So let's go inside and unbox this and see what, what we have inside and how we are going to fix it into our car. The contents of the dash camera comes in a very sturdy double walled box. The 178 page full color manual that came with my dash cam had instructions in English, German, French and Polish. I only read the first 43 English pages and I can say that this manual is very professionally compiled. So this is what came in the box. Uh, here is the main camera and one is facing the road and the other one facing inside the car here is the rear camera and it has the adhesive uh, mount and this is what is uh, facing the back of the car and you have a remote controller and this is the mount for the main camera and also this is the cable for the main camera and this cable is for your rear camera and this cable is used to co connect your uh, camera to the computer and also you have this trim remover tool and finally you have the manual Vendru has been kind enough to offer a generous 20% discount for Pasan Nivasa Vivas use the promo code Pasan Nivasa to avail this discount link to the Vendru US website is on the screen now and is also given in the description of this video so let's go and install this in the car now first you need to determine a good position to mount the camera Make sure the mounting position will not obstruct the driver's view of the road and that the cabin recording will not get obstructed by the rear view mirror. Use some rubbing alcohol or a good window cleaner to clean the mounting area of the windshield. Make sure the area is completely dry before proceeding to the next step. Attach the supplied electrostatic sticker to the windshield. Next, paste the dash camera mount on top of the electrostatic sticker. The mount comes with a mounting tape. Next, run the wire from the dash camera mount to the cigarette lighter power output. You can use the included trim removal tool to pry open panels. Next, let's fix the rear facing camera on the rear windshield. Once again, clean the mounting area with rubbing alcohol or a good window cleaner. Make sure the area is completely dry before fixing the rear camera. When fixing the rear camera, try as much as possible to fix on a location where the lens will not be blocked by the heating elements of the rear windshield. Try to fix the camera so that the lens is between two heating elements. Next. Run the included 20 feet USB-C cable from the rear camera to the front camera. This is how the car should look after both cables run are complete. Try as much as possible to conceal the cables and give you a, your car a neat appearance. 
Now let's switch on the camera and go through the settings. You would need to choose a language, set the location, set the date and time and if a micro SD card was inserted, you can format it in the camera now. The dash cam takes micro SD cards with a capacity of 512 GB or less. The camera runs on super capacitors and not batteries, which can be a huge benefit to the longevity of the camera. I had some cameras fail and corrupt SD cards due to their internal batteries failing. Studies have shown supercapacitors can go through 1 million charge cycles before they start go bad, whereas batteries can have no more than 10,000 charge cycles before they die. This speaks volume to the longevity of this camera. The app for the smartphone was easy to install and the camera connected to the app through Wi-Fi without any issues. The app is fantastic with all necessary features which includes playing back and downloading videos captured by the camera. Kudos to Venture for supplying a free and user-friendly app. All the major settings of the dash camera can be accessed through the app. It has been a couple of days since we installed the camera, so we decided that we should check the quality of the audio and video. I'm removing this so that we can get a better understanding about the quality of the audio. We are just going on a ride in our neighborhood just to check the quality of the audio and video like I mentioned before. So I'm talking without a um, mic and let's see how it is going to turn out. This camera can be a huge benefit to parents who have kids that are new drivers who have obtained their license recently because it has built-in GPS and the GPS will track the speed of the vehicle so that way you can the parents can track how their kids are driving if they are driving dangerously if they are driving fast also if you have a fleet of vehicles this can come in handy because that way you can track the driving habits of your employees too. So that can be a huge benefit. Should I have this <laughs> the GPS speed of the camera was spot on. It corresponded correctly with the car's speed. It's almost 10.40 in the evening. We are now ready to go on a ride to check the quality of the video during dark. Now the cabin of the car is in total darkness. There's some yellow on the other side. Let's see if we can get a 
ఎలవుట్ ఇస్తాము The Vantro E3 is one of the few dash cameras in the market that can capture license plate numbers clearly even during nighttime driving as evidence in the following dash cam footages. It has been three months since we started using this camera. I'm glad to say that we did. We have not come across any um, flaws of this camera. I hope you find this video useful and informative. Thank you, Andrew, for giving a generous discount of 20% to my uh, viewers. And until I meet you in my next video, stay safe, stay happy.